Hey, hey, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Talks with Tony. I have an email here from a young man and says, Hi, Tony. God bless you. My name is blank and I just came across you by typing how to get over my baby mama on YouTube. Your video, Getting Over My Ex, the mother of my child, was the first video that popped up. Your name is Tony, and my baby mama's new man's name is Tony. So I didn't want to click on your video at first, but I did. I listened to everything, and what words, brother? What words of encouragement from one man to another? It was so awesome to find out you're Christian as well, since I am too. Unfortunately, for many years, I took my ex for granted, and she finally got fed up and got herself another guy, which was a big shock to my life when I found out and caused me to lean back on the Lord. I can see now he's working in my life, and he has used this horrible situation to wake me up for the better, but the road has been emotionally hard for me. Just emailing you to say thanks for the words and I will definitely listen to more of your videos. Do you recommend any books? I have a five-year-old son with my ex. God bless you, bro, and I hope you get to read this email and can feel through my words and hope and motivation, the words of hope and motivation you have given me. Hey, thank you so much. This young brother didn't really have, you know, too many words um, seeking advice, but I wanted to just add you in here just to let you know I see you. A lot of times the men feel like I don't see them or you're overlooked, but I appreciate you sharing this and sending this to me. And I will say, you know, this is an interesting situation that you're in, and I'm glad that you are man enough to admit that your woman moving on is what floored you, what made you hit rock bottom and sent you back to God. Cause that's huge. And a lot of women don't understand that even her being gone still influenced your life. Her walking away is what influenced you to become a better man. Had she stayed, you wouldn't have grown. You wouldn't have become a better man because her being with you, her presence would have reinforced the environment. Her presence would have reinforced the, it would have sanctioned the environment and reinforced the behavior. So you would have remained the same because everything that you were doing to hurt her, had she not left, you would have told yourself it's okay. So a lesson here is to all men is sometimes you gotta be willing to let a woman go when she's trying to leave because her letting you go may actually help you grow. And that's what happened. And I hope women see this and understand this, that yes, it hurts for a woman when you leave a man and you move on with your life and then all of a sudden the man starts to grow. He starts to change. He has this epiphany. You know, and he does a 180 in his life and he becomes a new man. Well, that happens because you left. You stopped reinforcing the behavior. So what you have to realize is all of us at some time, men and women, we all are test dummies at some time. We all are someone's test dummy. So the woman was the man's test dummy for him to do all of the dirt do all of the hurt and pain to see if she can withstand that type of pain and pressure and that type of disrespect. She was in that car, you know, like the test dummies, being driven into the wall, boom, 50 miles an hour, then 80 miles an hour, then 100 miles an hour, boom, trying to see what this car and these test dummies who simulate humans can withstand. We all are test dummies at some point. And so the the lesson here is that we have to realize when a person is a test dummy in our life or when that season is training camp, 
in our life, we have to realize that and be okay with it and be able to say, you know what? I went through that to get here. I had to go through that and make those mistakes or suffer what I suffered, be hurt like I was hurt or hurt the person I hurt to get to this place in my life. So no, it's not meant for me to go back. No, it's not meant for me to have that person again. Because when I was with that person, I learned the language of love. I learned a certain language and not a language of love, but a language of a relationship. I learned a certain language of a relationship that is a toxic language, a language of abuse or a language of um, lies, a language of manipulation, deception, um, infidelity. So I learned those languages in that relationship. And if I go back, I'm going to revert to that language, to my first language. When things get comfortable and you get complacent, you speak your first language. Like me, I'm speaking my second language right now, talking to you. My first language is Ebonics. When I'm comfortable and I'm just with my family, I'm with my boys, or, you know, I'm with my, my, my wife and my kids, I'm full Ebonics. You wouldn't even understand me because that's what I grew up around. That's the language I learned. So I still sound country and a little Ebonic trying to talk proper. So imagine how I sound when I'm relaxed. Think about languages in relationships. It works the same way. If this young man, if you go back to your ex, it won't be, it wouldn't be a year before you back to speaking the same languages you spoke. You don't believe that because you believe you change. But when you get back to the crack house, you get back on crack. When you was out living in Malibu, you know, walking the beach, you was able to heal. Had your accountability partner, you was able to break, kick the habit, break the addiction. You go back to the dope house, you gonna be back on dope real soon. That's what we gotta understand about relationships is that sometimes they run their course and that person was in our life for a season, but also for a reason. And then we gotta understand that we can't stretch that into a lifetime and we gotta leave and become better to live the rest of our lifetime as a better person. So there's a message here on both sides. To the women, understand this, that if you've done everything you can do and this man has still not changed for you, you're not the woman for him. You actually were the woman who was sent in his life to endure this pain to make him a better man. Not your choice. It just happened by default. It's just the way the universe set it up. So you got to get the lessons from it because he also taught you something about men, about grown boys. He taught you something about pain, about living on lust instead of building on real love. He taught you lessons that you got to learn, that you got to get in your spirit and say, you know what? Let me leave. And not just be a victim of a soul tie, getting beat over the head by this soul tie, but let me leave with a new knowledge and understanding that everything I saw was preparation for my real husband, for my real love, so that I could recognize the red flags. And to the men, what you got to realize is, look, I was with that woman and I did what I did because truthfully, she's not my wife. Yes, she's a great person. Yes, she could be my wife if I made her my wife, but I didn't see her as my wife and I didn't value her and I didn't respect her. So I don't deserve her. But what I need to take from this pain and take from this lesson is I need to remember how bad it feels to see the woman that you were with move on with her life and get with another man. I need to take this. I need to take this lesson. I need to learn from it. And the next woman I get, that is a real woman that I'm attracted to and that I decide to start something with, I need to go in from the beginning, remembering the pain that I felt watching a woman that I quote unquote love walk away 
and I need to treat this new woman with a, a profound respect. Now, a woman being used and abused right now, she don't want to hear what I'm talking about. <laughs> you do not want to hear what I'm talking about. What you mean, Tony? That ain't fair. All this pain and all this I done went through. He need to grow up. He need to be a man for me. That is not fair. You trying to say he ought to just leave after I done went through all this pain? Hey, listen to me. I know it does not sound fair. Nobody said it would be fair. Life is not fair. Lessons are not fair. There's a quote that says, life is a twisted teacher. It gives you the test first. And then the lesson after the relationship tested you, you got to make sure it also teaches you that you get something from it. But you have to realize that if you can't be happy and if the person has not changed for you, they're not for you. And you got to be OK moving on, even if that means seeing them end up with somebody else and being the man that you wish you had. But at the same time. If you accept the reality of the situation and you become a better person, guess what? You are going to go into love and you're going to attract a man that you can help mature and grow in a much shorter time period. And this man changes for you and becomes the man of your dreams. Listen to me. I know without a shadow of a doubt, I'm the man of my wife's dreams. But the reason why is because she went through a bad relationship, a toxic relationship where there was some infidelity. There was some stuff going on. And when she left that, she was hurting. She was broken. She was lost and confused. She wanted love. But guess what? She had learned from the games that were played and she was unwilling to fall for those same games again. So when I left my toxic relationship for her and I cut my girlfriend off of two years, who was really like a fiance, I left her. Can you imagine her pain, the hurt? Be like, I done gave this man two years of my life and he's just gonna up and leave. But truthfully, she didn't want me. Truthfully, she didn't need me. Truthfully, deep down, she was happy I was gone because it was so toxic, so controlling. So guess what? She dealt with the worst so that her next relationship probably became her best because she had not saw the worst that a relationship can provide. So now she know what not to put up with and she can produce real love. So what my ex-girlfriend went through is the same thing my wife went through. So I don't know what happened with my ex-girlfriend, but I know what happened with my wife. She got me. I know I tried to be the same man from my past. My relationship before my wife, as I was when I got with my wife, but my wife shut it down. So by shutting that down, guess what? I became who you see today. I became who you listen to today. And it's all because we learn from the things we suffered. So understand that not every relationship should be stretched into a lifetime. Understand that some relationships are only there to teach you the lesson for you to be a test dummy in training camp for a season to get ready for your championship season. To get ready for your legacy, for your banners to be hung in the rafters with the next person that you meet and fall in love with because now you are stronger and you are wiser. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. Um, that wasn't really a real type of question. Oh, and you asked me, did I have any books? Do I recommend any books to you? Um, I have a book called The New Guy Code, and you'll find it on Amazon. And my dad wrote a book called The Man Book. Uh, to be honest with you, for men, um, I've read several books, but in relation to relationships and growing as a man, I don't recommend them. Books I read kind of more so business. What has I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of people don't want to hear this. But to become a man, there is no better book than the Holy Bible. My, my library is full of books right now. I listen to audio books. It's full of books. The Way of the Superior Man. No Man is an Island. You know, I'm listening to all these different books, Think and Grow Rich, you know, How to Win and Influence 
people and all of this, I'm going to have to write a book for me and an updated one because the new guy code, I wrote it years ago. But no, I am the man I am today by trying to live like Jesus Christ, by trying to treat people the way the Bible says he treated people, and by trying to live at that level of perfection. That's what got me to this place today. I think it was Vince Lombardi that said, perfection is not attainable, but if you chase it, you will catch excellence along the way. So I'm trying to be perfect in my integrity, my heart as a man, and all of the rules and guidelines that I live by come from the Holy Bible. So truthfully and honestly, that's the book. The book of Proverbs changed my life. And then the New Testament, after reading Mark, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the next chapters of the New Testament leading all the way up to Revelation. I didn't read Revelation, but all the chapters between from John up to Revelation changed my life. Made me an amazing husband, made me an amazing father, an amazing friend. And it also, not to mention, helped me earn millions of dollars in business with 11 companies and over 50 streams of income because of that focus and that level of integrity and intensity as a man. So hey, whether you Christian, atheist, agnostic, read that Bible and, and, and take them lessons and it's gonna bless you. This is Tony Gaskins, we'll talk soon.